Welcome back to Get Up DC. Reaction continues to pour in after President Biden revealed his student loan relief plan last week. The plan erases $10,000 in federal student loan debt for those with annual incomes below $125,000 or couples earning less than $250,000. The plan would cancel an additional $10,000 for those who received Pell Grants. Well, that student debt relief program delivers on a promise that President Joe Biden made during the campaign trail, but it's generated a lot of questions over just how is something like this even possible? Abby Larico joining us right now to verify a lot of those questions. Abby, good morning. Hey, Larry, good morning to you. As people wait for more information from the Department of Education on what to do next to claim this loan forgiveness benefit, there's also the question of if the program could get tied up in court. The Biden administration points to something called the HEROES Act as giving them authority for sweeping student debt cancellation. So what is it and how is it connected with student loans? Our sources are the Higher Education Relief Opportunities for Students, or HEROES Act, the Department of Education, and the Biden administration. The HEROES Act was passed after 9-11. It allows for the forgiveness of student loan requirements during certain periods of hardship in the country, like during a war or national emergency. It became law while U.S. troops were fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan, and lawmakers agreed they should be protected from growing loan burdens. This accompanying legal opinion cites the HEROES Act as justification for the debt cancellation program, which the Biden administration has said is directed at, quote, addressing the financial harms caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Department of Education also stood on the HEROES Act to initially pause student loan collection in 2020 during the Trump administration. However, some say this is too broad an interpretation of the HEROES Act or even a case of presidential overreach. Members of his own party have even long questioned if this is something the president has the authority to do. In order for it to actually face a legal challenge, though, someone would have to make a case in court that they've been harmed by this widespread student debt cancellation. Larry? All right, Abby, thank you so much.